Welcome to the new intro to Subnautica! That's cool, isn't it? So much better than just, you know, just starting the game up in a black screen and then appearing in a live pod. I do see an error, which I have already taken a picture of. I'll have to report that. The wires have gone missing down here. You see the spark, but they're not there anymore. Some alterations to the live pod cause that. Let's go up top. Not much else with that. I just wanted to show you the intro. So I am going to cut from here to my base. So I'll see you in a second. Welcome back to my base. Actually, this is a completely new base. I had to redo my save today due to some updates they were not showing in my previous save from the other day. <laughs> As usual, for some reason, the a lot of the new updates we're getting in Experimental are not appearing, are not affecting save games. So the only way to show those changes is to make another save game. Oh well. But it did give me the opportunity to make a new base in a different configuration, which you'll see in a minute. Still haven't added the pictures to the photo frames in here. Uh, that's the only two I believe I've missed at the moment. Uh, here's my relay station. Let's go to the... There we go. Oh, I forgot about that one too. As you can see, this is a different layout. You know, Before, I had a tunnel that went over the, that room. But now I have two generic round rooms. And look! <gasps> plants! probably wondering, hey, what? Huh? How did you get those? Well, if you go over to the floating island, you can now harvest plants. All you need is a knife. You can walk up to the plant and slash it. And as you see there, I got four seeds out of that. So on a, any planter, you just click and carry it over and that will grow into that spot right there and fill that that location back up. Same with these. Which are I forget the I wish they would show you the name of the when you click when you look at them, but those are the orange petals. And you could do that now with pretty much every plant in the game. Not well, let me rephrase that. Oh well I said pretty much, but not every plant, but all of the dimensional ones, the ones that have uh, a three-dimensional form to them, if they're two-dimensional, you can't do anything. Like those brown, that brown uh, grass down there, that's you can't do anything with that. But I have a little garden over here. Actually, I thought I filled this up. Uh-oh. I forgot to save. Before I fill this up, I'll have to go get my trees again. I put a fruit tree in that one, and over there, and some other things in this one. And I forgot to do that before I saved. But this is some of the things I forgot to show you in the last one. Here's the bulba tree, which you can get from the island up above, or over on the island, and bring it over and put in your planters. And got some shrooms and growing here. And there's the orange mushroom and the purple vase plant. 
I love this. It's awesome to be able to decorate your place up like this. And all you do is walk up to any of these plants and knife them and you'll get samples. Now the problem with these, with the bulba tree and the, the, the orange petal and the mushroom and the, va the vase plant and several others is that they are big. See, if you if I were to knife this tree, it you get a four square chunk of icon. That's just way too big. It needs to be the same size as these pink flowers. If you wanted to get a bunch of samples, you'd never be able to do it because most of them are going to fill up all four of these slots right here. You know, so it's actually well, let's see, I'll take you up at upstairs in a minute I'll show you what I what I did up there but let's see if I could transplant this tree uh, oh yeah I could put it over here good there we go and look at there we have the purple vegetable plant which is only available over in the farming tray next to the abandoned precursor base on the floating island the melons will be next. Actually, you can harvest the melons by, you know, slashing them, but you can't oddly plant them just yet. So they're useless. And they're not edible. Same with these. Hopefully they will be in the very near future. Uh, see, they look pretty good in a little planter pot there. And the bulba trees, they look great. Actually, I would call them sap trees, not bulba considering they have running sap coming from them all the time. And here's the fruit trees. And they do give you a little bit of fruit. Not a, not as much as the actual ones over on the island, but there's a few s seedlings right there that you can, uh, the fruits you can grab. I'm hoping that if you pluck these, that they will regrow. It'd be interesting to test. And here's my aquarium with all my fish. I can't remember if I put any rabbit rays in there. Uh, there's a major problem with the reef back baby. It just happened today. It's actually a, a friend of mine over on Discord. He was saying that... No, I'm sorry, on Steam discussion panel. Uh... General Putus, he uh, he says his reefback was making sounds the other day, but my tanks were nice and quiet. So I didn't understand what the heck he was talking about until today. So we had an update several hours ago, and suddenly all my f the reefback and the gasopod were making noise. And that was seriously annoying. Not the gasopod. He's fine. He's actually... He's pretty quiet. I mean, he makes a little sound every now and then, but... <laughs> don't put a reef... Don't get a, put a reef fat baby in your tank. He will freak out all your fish. And here's my egg-laying tank. I got rabbit rays. got a mesmer. Two crab snakes. A shocker. Gasopod. Bone shark, stalker. Uh, where's my bone shark? Is he upstairs? Oh, there he is. He hasn't grown much yet. He just hatched a little while ago with fast hatch, the code. Um, oddly, the you know previous video I was saying how I was I was having trouble hatching my reef back, and it seems to work quicker than now. Uh, I threw, him, do, threw it down, did a fast hatch, watched it, and a couple seconds later he popped out. Which is all fine and good, but as I mentioned, he starts making noise now. Really loud no you know, the moans that you hear out in the wild. And If you got rabbit rays, they get stunned by his sound. They just sit here in the water and just freeze and shake. And the only thing I could do is grab them and take them over to the other tank and let them go and they were fine over there but unfortunately I can't have a nice little baby reef back in here not anymore now if they were to make it so he, he was quiet in your tank then all would be happy and joyful and you can have a great 
Reef Pack Baby in here. Same with a Sand Shark. Don't put a Sand Shark in your tank. They are exceptionally noisy. Always roaring. I had I had one in here, and I well, I had them in the other tank, because somebody says don't put it in the same tank with your castle pod, because they'll fight or something like that. Didn't test it. Either way, I put him over there. He started making noise. I took him outside in my previous save, and he wouldn't go away. He just stuck around my uh, base, you know, roaring and pretty much saying, let me back in. <laughs> but you're not getting back in. Of course, he was tame because he was hatched from an egg, but it wasn't good. Also, I found a slight bug with uh, stalkers and sand sharks. If you put them in a tank full of fish like this, it's like they get mopey or something. If you put it, the stalker eventually will just stop swimming and he'll just hover next to the side of the tank and not move unless you push him. And then he'll move around a little bit. Then he'll go back to the side tank and stay there. Same with the sand shark. He just he'll just stare at the side of the tank and roar all the time. So I don't know what's up with that. At least they don't eat your fish. <laughs> But there's something really cool outside I want to show you. And the la the f updates we've had today have dramatically changed something very, very interesting to the game. Let's go back to day so you can I can show you. What the heck? Oh, I knew it was gonna clip. I have to get rid of that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Look what we got here. First off, let me get rid of this. Fortunately, I can't keep this creep fine here because he's going to clip through that. I should put him over here. I wonder if I can get rid of one of these and put it over there. Hmm, I'll have to test that. Anyway, before I get into that, as you notice, you're wondering, you're probably wondering, how did you get all these plants? They've made all the plants sample. You can take samples of all the plants in the game. Almost all of them. There's still some that are waiting for their ability. But, as you notice, all of these have, you know, a dimensional quality to them. They're all models. Uh, they're not two-dimensional. Except for that one. He still does look a little two-dimensional. But, I mean, he's flat. You know, the textures look flat on him. Uh, nonetheless, you can actually scan all of these and slash them with your knife and get a sample and then take them back to your farming tray plant them and they grow up to be a nice big plant so you can have one of every plant now the reason why i have three of these is i didn't know that they were all going to look the same they they're not supposed to be pygmy cushions one was a pygmy one was a medium and one was a uh, large or whatever it was that really big one so i was hoping to have you know three different sizes here but nope didn't happen that way and they finally made the membrane plant so you can take samples. That's so cool. I love having the membrane plant over here. And the jelly shroom. They call it a snake mushroom, but I like jelly shroom better. And then the eye plants, which are over in the sparse reef, if you want to know where they're at. In the blue palm, which is actually a crinoid. That's exactly what that is. It's a crinoid plant. And my favorite, the sea crown, which are up to now, there's only been two in the game over in one spot in the curse zone. So now you can go over there, take a sample and plant them and enjoy them at your leisure. There was only two. Now there's four in the game. And we got the shell grass, which is available over in the sparse reef as well. Uh, these inventory full. Why are you showing that? Uh... Why is it? What? That's weird. <laughs> so, huh? Wow. I'm going to have to take a picture of that. That's strange. I get a name on that and that, but the, this, this one here, which I'll show you the name in a minute. It's showing me inventory full. <laughs> strange. And even better is you could take samples of the... Uh, purple brain coral and have your own little oxygen producer and 
these are the writhing weed. Here's the purple fan, which I've always loved. What's funny is the entity gallery, which is bugged right now for some reason. I, somebody says to, if you really want to see the entity gallery, is to go in, don't move, save your game, and then go out and then reload it. And then you can actually maneuver in it. But if you go in, if you load it right now and then try start moving, it crashes the game. I'm not sure why. It's never done that until now. Anyway, these are pretty cool because they. If you look in the entity gallery, they, there's the top, the, the the bottom of it right here is a separate little entity uh, for some reason at, in one part of the gallery, and then you have it all together like this. Then the red cone plant, which is in a cave over in the western bloodgrass location. Uh, it's in a cave full of spike plants. <laughs> Not a good place. You, with invisibility, you can go get a sample of it. And you got the red roll plant, which is over in the western bloodgrass zone as well. And red bush. And the purple stalks, which is in the, again, over in the western bloodgrass. So, lots of cool things, and still more to come. Can't wait to be able to collect them all. Ooh. I keep seeing somebody who wants me to scan them. What was that? Who wants to be scanned? Let's see this. I kept seeing the icon in the lower right hand corner. Is it that one? The pygmy fan! There we go! Huh! I thought I scanned that! Oh well, I guess I didn't. Let's see who else. Anybody else I missed? No? Okay. So you open your PDA, go to Data Bank, Alien Life Forms, Flora. And look at this. Ooh, look at them all. Of course, they're all. Not, only a few have their information. Look, Acid Mushroom has pictures now. But the Bulba Tree has an image, but <laughs> looks like a tree. <laughs> not much data on it just yet. And crash plan, of course. Creep vine seeds, droopy stinger. Those have all been in there. They're waiting their pictures. But starting from here down is all the other ones. And then the hanging tree. Tree with big orange fruits. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Cush bush. There's the uh, melon. It's funny, they already have a picture for this. <laughs> and you can't plant them. That sucks. But those are the, are the ones over in the abandoned precursor base on the floating island. It says you can eat them. See? So it's right there. So you can eat them. And membrane tree. Orange mushroom. Pink flower. Purple polka dots. <laughs> Green clovers. <laughs> Blue diamonds. <laughs> Purple rattle. Pygmy fan. There's so many plants you can... You can scan now. It's awesome. Snake mushroom, tiger plant, of course. Still waiting for its image. There's the uh, other one, the vegetable plant. Doesn't say edible, but of course it's going to be because... Oh, there it is. Yeah, right there. The fork and spoon icon. And the writhing weed. That's pretty much it for the PDA at the moment. Let's see anything else? I don't know if I ever showed you the mesmer. That was it right there. Uh, let's see. We got floater. Floater still waiting for its image. Yeah, that's about it for those. How about floor. Yeah, I was looking at that. Planetary geology. I got all of those. In case you didn't know and you want to look at them, basalt outcrops, gold, diamond, uranium. Limestone is titanium and copper source. Sandstone is silver and gold. And shale is gold and lithium. So you can get one or the other from either one of those. And they've changed, for those who haven't noticed, they've changed the life pods locker. 
items. They're not random anymore, so you're not going to get like a, a chunk of diamond or copper or weird stuff like that in there. That really shouldn't be there. Now it's, you know, you get two nu nutrient blocks, some water, and whatever the other thing was. Uh, health uh, might have been health kits or something like that. Technically, it should be... Let's see what it is. Where is my life pod information? Eh, Aurora. There it is. Come on. No. Oh. This is what should be random in there. Uh, anything in this list. Other than the environmental protection suit. And what was the other one? Well, just other than that, because you're already wearing that. And it says two times, so that would mean there's two suits in there, so you don't need that. But in any of these other things should be random, random in there, along with the water and the food and whatever else. Now, I think I did show you the... Now here's all the eggs, of course. You got the gasopod, mesmer, rabbit, stalker, crab snake... Bone shark, shocker, spade fish, and reef bag. Did they get bone shark in there? Yeah, okay. I missed it. And there'll be most likely more eggs in the very near future. I'm waiting for a reaper egg. That would be very cool. Of course, if he's like the sand shark and reef bag and makes tons of noise, I don't want one in my tank. Hopefully that's not the case. I had the freaking weirdest bug earlier. Uh, I was freaking out trying to figure out how to get rid of the reef back from my tank. So I went up here. I think I was like right here. Or was it? No, I went up one more. I was right here. And I was waiting for all the creatures to go down. So I got rid of my hatch here. And I was using my builder, and as soon as they got down into the lower, I tried to get rid of my aquarium right here. Actually, I'm sorry, I was down one. There was an aquarium above and below. Don't do that. If you have a base like this, and you try to get rid of an aquarium that's between two, <laughs> it'll make your base invisible, and it'll make you walk on the ocean floor. I, f I literally fell down into the bottom of the tank. And I, had, and I was able to jump out and walk around the ocean environment. And that whole tower over here, including this one, except for the bottom two layers, were invisible. Everything else is visible. Just not the modules themselves. So that was the wildest bug. I have a picture of it. So, But you can. One of the things you can do, if you had a situation like you had a reef back in your aquarium and he's making lots of noise, is start from the top right here. E erase this and just work your way down until there's one module, one tank left with everybody in it, and just get rid of that tank. It's like a locker. Every all the animals in it just boop, they're gone. So then you can re restack them and then put the eggs back in the way you like, and you're all good to go. That's what I did with these guys. I just rehatched them all without the noise makers. That's so cool. I love that you could swim with them and they don't they don't hurt you or anything. They're nice docile. You freaking out on me? Are you freaking out on me, huh? <laughs> Shocker! And he doesn't hurt you. Because he doesn't really have any electricity. Oh yeah, he does. I do see I see his electricity. It doesn't consider me a threat, so he doesn't shock me. I do have an unhatched egg here. What is this? My inventory really full. Oh, my inventory is full. Well, a good one. nonetheless, it should have showed that when I was clicking on that pygmy fan. Let's go down here and toss it in here. Get rid of it all. Pink flowers. Uh... Well, hold on a minute. Let's go over to the bit. Let's go over to the island. Do biomes islands? 
and you'll land on the beach. Unless it doesn't form fast enough, and then you gotta swim back a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Now we got crabs. Cave crawlers all over the place. I have invisible on so they don't see me. I was so surprised. Oh, I thought I had invisible on. I guess I didn't. Now I do. <laughs> but uh, I was really surprised when I came over there a little several hours ago and I started walking around and I'm like, wait a minute, that has a name. Can I scan it? Oh, yes, it's awesome. Yeah, so this is where the flowers are and all the plants you can collect. Well, let's head over to the precursor base over here. I'm waiting for them to allow you to do this one because I'd like to have some of these in my base. I mean, technically it's ready, but there are some bugs with this at night. If you look at the leaves at night, they're, they have a lot of blue edging on them. And it's like they were some of the matting or something on the, the, the original artwork or wasn't deleted. Or, so, and these would be cool. I can't wait. Nice to scan these. Too Earth-like, though. It's like, what are palms doing on this planet? Were they originally planted by humans? <laughs> and these... So they have no substance, so you can't collect them. <laughs> if you could walk through them, there's nothing there to knife. Oop, still got that shadow bug. Let's head over here. There's the purple vase. That, I want one, two. Buckle my shoe. I still got that... Uh, disinfected water oh well I'll hang on to it but here's the new precursor base and how it looks better they uh, I did report this flickering rust textures but here's the I still need some of these there we go I need yeah one that was cool did it actually take one of those out of there it did no it didn't oh I was hoping they would You'd see one of the fruits down there disappear when you grabbed it. Ooh, I got too many of them. Eh, it doesn't matter. But here's the melon plant, but I'm not going to pick it up because you can't do anything with it. It's just the it's just nice to look at at the moment since you can't plant it. Still got the problem with the uh, door here. See if you you open it up, you float. <laughs> While he's opening it, and then you drop. <laughs> yeah, nothing in there. There's the flickering rust textures. I've already reported that with a video of, of them doing it. And you got the f the strangely positioned cave crawlers in here. They keep floating on the walls. Or doing that. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> Oh well, they'll get fixed eventually. They did say they changed the landslide a little bit too. The way it's laid out, I guess. It's pretty cool. Textures look a little, look a little better than they did when I was over here last. They open the window here, you can look inside, although that floor is not right. I think the floor needs to be older looking compared to the the base itself is so dirty. I mean, well, rusty. I don't think this is rust though, because titanium doesn't rust. Somebody says it can if you add impurities into it, like other metals. But sure, that's fine. But this is supposed to be pure titanium, so this would be, in my opinion, more of a mold, an algae, a brown algae that's eating the titanium. Which is not a good thing to know if it is, if that is the case, because it'd be eating your base eventually. Too bad I want one of these, a miniature version of these plant, these trees here. So hopefully they'll be soon, because they are solid, but you can't knife them. Yep, nothing yet. And these look like bamboo or ferns. 
the other plants are all scattered underwater in different locations, so you just have to go look for them. Now, let's go upstairs. Let's see, that's fine. Uh, one more. Okay. Head over here. Go down. Oh, I went up. Not down. Oh, wait. Oh, I never put anything in these. Okay. Well, I'll add those to that one for now. And what we got here? Uh, do I want to put trees? Ah, oh, what the heck. I'll put trees in here. Purple vegetable. Well, one tree. I'll, I'll put one tree in there. for. I'll, I want some more flowers to put in here for right now, so I'll wait on those. Going down. I said down, not up. Oh, one more. Come on. There we go. Now, put that one, that one, and that one in there. Okay. You can see they're growing already. There's the little guy there. Where's the other one? I don't see the other one. He's hidden under the texture on top. I think he's right there. Right under the hand icon. Under that, that yeah, yeah, he's right there. Slowly growing. There okay, there's the other one right there. Right where my reticle is. Yep, right there. <gasps> right there. Can you see him? Yeah, he's right there. Uh should be interesting if we can eat these eventually. Maybe you can make do something with the sap from this tree. I don't know. We'll see. Now, we do... What? He laid an egg! Oh, so they do! I was told... My friend said that he had a... He had an egg up here. Wait, where's my other crab snake? Hello? What? I had two crab snakes. What happened to me? Well, let's fast hatch it then. So we can have the crab snake back. Wait, there's two rabbit rays? One. Two. So I'm going to have four rabbit rays. Hey, they're breeding, man. <laughs> cool. At least the breeding works. Oh, there's a reason why I had two in here. Okay, there's one. Oh, wait. There he is. There's one there. There's one there. The egg hasn't hatched yet, though. Might be like the spade fish egg. It doesn't really crack. You just get another... Another one from it. Although they normally do crack open. You, you can actually watch the baby come out of them. I think think that second crab snake just came from that egg and it didn't show it hatch. What about the rabbit ray? I see two there. Actually, I need another mesmer. Nah, I don't know. I think one's enough for the mesmer. Heck with it. Welcome aboard, Captain. I never can understand why it does that. I came out of my tank. Where... <laughs> I'm in the base. I don't need to be told welcome aboard. There they are. Now they're forming. Just need to get one more plant for over there. Fill my location up. Uh, in case you didn't know, lockers. You, if you ever want to delete a bulk, a bunch of bulk items that you don't want, just put them in a locker and then deconstruct it. There you go. It's gone. Although it would be nice if you can uh, drop an item and get rid of it that way. But, as I was trying to say, the we have a pretty good, pretty good finished Kush wreck. So let me show you what it looks like. So if you want to go to the Kush wreck, 
do 904 minus 179, 608. And you'll appear right over the top of it. As soon as the landscape starts loading in. There we go. Now they've blocked, as you see, they've blocked up the main hole, which you normally would do. This is the same model as the Bloodgrass wreck that started the... That was the first one in the game. So... The only way I've seen to get in... There's two minor ways. Is this one here, at the back of the wreck. I do have a problem down here, though, I was looking at. They put these... Where'd they go? Huh. I had... Th there were three sandfalls back here, and now they're gone. Oh, well, maybe they fixed them. I made a card about them. Per they're perpetuous. They would never stop. Let's see what we got. Absolutely nothing. So if you come inside... I thought they said they fixed this. Now, there was a card about them putting door frames on here. That's not showing. So, clearly this wreck is not entirely done. What about this one? Nothing! Pointless to have a box with nothing in it. But if you swim through and look for the door that you can cut... What is this? Oh, that's the door, missing door frame. <laughs> uh, swim down. Let's see, where is it? Uh, I gotta orient myself so I know where I'm at. Uh, okay, there's that. That one. I cut the door, and you can actually cut the well. Laser cut the door in this wreck. I think it might have been. This one. I'm confused. I'll take the air vent to heck with it. Going down. And there. Now I'm in the cargo bay. I think. It's hard to tell. Where's the elevator shaft? Flashlight, where are you at? There you are. Okay, this... Is that the car? Uh, I can't tell. Hey, I see a loot box over there. A loot crate, and I can't get to it. Back down here. I see a mesmer. Can't get over that way. This is strange. Last time I was in here, it wasn't as confusing. Where is that open? Oh, hello, Mismer. Uh, where's the opening? How the heck did I get in here? I'm lost. This is, ooh. Hello. No goodies. Well. Where's the vent opening I came through? This is strange. Hold on, I think it's going to night. Let's go back to day. There we go. Much better. I don't need my, don't need my flashlight anymore. Just need the vent opening. What's that? Okay, that's that's the floor. Yeah, this is the cargo bay because that's the door that's usually blocked up. It's blocked up on the blood grass. But something. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Jeez. Man, it's hard to see. 
Okay. Get out of here. Oop, wrong way. Freedom at last. So you can't go through there. And there was... There's the other door. Okay. See, normally you'd be able to go out right there. That's the way you would. But it's blocked. So you have to swim. Oh, there's some of the new furniture that's coming. Sometime soon you should be able to scan these items and then build them in your base. Oh, wait, what's he attacking? Let's go find out. What are you attacking? Absolutely nothing. Anyway, here's the different cushions. I'll show you what their names are here. See, here we got the large organic mass cush. <laughs> of course it's organic. I hate that term. You know, slap organic on anything these days and everybody thinks it's something special. Large cush. Medium cush. <gasps> Tiny cush. Pygmy Kush. <laughs> it's like the uh, Goldilocks and the three, three Bears. And now, if we go to go to Wreck Eight, it'll drop you right on top of the Blood Kelp Wreck. Same wreck as the one we were just in, but it's more defined. Because that one over there in the Kush is still being worked on, obviously. This one's opening is... Huh, they put a light on top. Hey, that's cool. Right there. Now, I will need my flashlight for this. Can't turn on day in here. There's a better view of the chair. Once they get the seating animation down, then we'll be able to use them. Right now, you just, you have no substance to your body, so you can't sit on them. But here's the door frames. As you can see, these are in place. This is where how they're supposed to look in the other wrecks, and they will eventually. So, this wreck is basically complete, which is good. Unfortunately, there's no, no goodies to find at the moment. You know, there's no incentive to come over here and go and look in it to find something to scan, like a uh, fragment or LED light or something. That'll change. But what is cool, though, if you go... Is this the bottom? No, it's the top. What was nice is how they've changed this location around here that chunks fell off this and all the way down into the deep trench down below if you go all the way down you actually show up in the location where I'm guessing will be the entrance to the lost river once you uh, once they put it in place it's that spot I showed you before it had the u-shaped trench in the ground that was guarded by one of the shockers so it's right down there this wreck is right over that location uh, they haven't made it so you can scan the kelp yet I'm surprised I would have thought that would be one of the first things you can do but you can scan let's see where is he Gabe's feather right here I've already done it, so it's not going to show me being able to do it, but this is Gabe's feather there. What's that? Quartz. Ooh, listen to the music. I have this. This is one of the tunes over on Simon or Kamikaze's SoundCloud, uh, which I have in my playlist. He doesn't have them labeled as their biome. I label my 
tracks that way. I keep his original title, of course, but then I'll say what biome they're from or where they play. A couple of songs play in multiple locations, but... That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's warp back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard. And defos. <laughs> There's the water filtration. See, is it full? Yeah. Once it's full, it stops making, so I just leave it. I always... I, I'm not gonna... Even though I'm in freedom mode all the time, I still like to make it, though. I don't need to use anything out of it because I'm not in survival, but I do want it in my base just to test it and make and see it because it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't. I didn't put any spotlights on this time, and I do agree with somebody over on Discord the other night that they are basically fluff at the moment. They don't really serve much of a purpose. The spotlights. Now, if you could build them to put on the front of your Cyclops and then lock them in a certain position, forward position, so you can have a ton more light as you're moving around, uh, that would be cool. And hopefully that'll happen. Uh, I did put a floodlight over there. I haven't tested LEDs, so I don't know if they're, if they're working yet, but probably not. But let's, yeah, let's try one. Oh, wait. Actually, I can uh, make one in the fabricator. Let's see. They are right here. LED stick. You need light stick blueprint, which is not in the game yet. Battery, titanium, and glass. Of course, it doesn't have a fabricator model yet either. When it's a blueprint model to form when it's being made. And it still makes that terraformer sound. I have a feeling it's not going to work. But we'll find... Ooh! Hey! Look! Ooh! It's working! It's putting out light! Awesome! Finally, we, can, we actually have a light we can walk around, float around with. That's actually better than the flashlight. Very cool! Let's see what... Put it down. Yeah! Hey, there we go. Cool, I can go over my card and say it's working. See, once you put it down, then you can scan it. Which means it's going to be in a wreck somewhere. And then you'll have to scan it just like you did the floodlight. So, that's awesome. So, one of the updates we got today finally fixed the light. That's great news. Great news indeed! Good news, everyone. So, you can, uh, what's nice about those is you can create a path of them if you wanted to. The only thing I don't like is, like, it has these little feet. Uh, in recent playtests, we were talking about that, and I have to agree with some others that it'd be better if it was, like, a point to the bottom. You just jab it into the ground. That would be better. So. There's my base. I forgot to show it to you from the outside. Isn't that cool? Two big aquariums. Fish on one side, egg hatchers on the other, hatchery on the other. And a little shortcut right up the middle. Right up the middle. Right at the top I have a little... I did put some uh, bulkheads. I haven't used those in a while. They do strengthen your base up some. There is a bug, though. If you were to flood your moon pool, the and this is this right here, this tube right here, is built by the moon pool when it attaches to your generic room. So it's not something I put there. Uh, ooh, that's still showing? I thought that was fixed. Man, that, that's an old bug. This thing is that issue right there has been in the game ever since the moon pool was put in months ago. Many months ago. And I'm surprised it hasn't been rectified. Uh, hopefully it will. But if you were to flood your moon pool and you had like 
I had before where you had just a corridor around the water would flood up above the door before it actually floods past the door so again that's an, a very old bug the bulkhead but that that be it for now man <laughs> let's go back to day real quick save my game there save my game at daytime so I will see you in the next video when there's more to show. It'll probably be more farming stuff. So take care. Hope you enjoyed.